Hello everyone, welcome in my channel UWP and WPF uh, video tutorials. So uh, today I'm going to show you uh, a simple uh, use of radio uh, radio button. Uh, when uh, if we uh, you have multiple radio buttons, then how to select it and uh, um, only single uh, single radio button can select. And uh, when we select the I, uh, item, then given pop up message uh, that is selected or not. So um, it's a proper. Uh, use of radio button control so you know very well the about the radio button because the radio button control is used where you have a single selection like uh, in a gender and married real status uh, and uh, if you want to uh, select the colors uh, and change um, on some text on the basis of the single selections so here an example you can change a single selection radio button and change the four color of the text block so uh, key watching uh, okay so uh, in the stack panel uh, we have some properties like the name property that is st1 margin property that is 50 it's an outer border area from the margin is 50 okay so in all areas left bottom right and the uh, top okay and the orientation is vertical so align uh, all the items in the vertically okay in the background that is aqua color and the padding is a 40 it means some text uh, some uh, controls in the stack panel have 40 uh, padding pixels okay now uh, the first uh, control uh, in this stack panel is text block control and uh, that uh, control changed when we select any radio buttons so or you can say the text color text foreground color uh, changed when we select any radio button control okay so the control uh, name is tx1 that is text block one and the text wrapping is wrap whole words and the text is change the text color when we select any radio buttons and the second text blocks um, I'm taking for uh, your choosing a color okay so okay uh, the second text block is a ch uh, color chooser radio buttons so after that you can add uh, some radio buttons uh, in the stack panel like uh, another uh, we can take another stack panel that uh, we have uh, stack panel orientation is horizontally and the background color uh, is different from the aqua color because we already take an aqua color for the background okay uh, so uh, the stack panel orientation is horizontal and the background color is uh, azure and uh, padding also there uh, mm, 15 it's okay and enough okay so uh, after that okay now in the radio button uh, the content of the radio button is uh, right color because the color name um, and the tag is also re uh, red and uh, um, the checked element oops uh, nothing to give uh, nothing to show the intelligence that is event again i checked it checked oops uh, I think something problem uh, to show uh, some intelligence tips okay checked color is the event name okay and the last one is a group name because uh, if you give the similar same group name for all controls then only the single radio button at a time is selected I will selected okay okay and uh, you can take uh, multiple radio buttons for the rgb color that is red green and blue uh, so red green and blue and also the change the tag name that is green and the checked event is also same and the group name is also same and the content uh, uh, will different for uh, among the radio buttons okay so oops getting error because the man page one not having the code behind file oops that is the main reasons to intelligence is not working for the 
checked event so um, i will uh, i'm taking a new file uh, to add c sharp file and uh, copy this uh, code and paste this uh, the newly created file which will c sharp and the blank page that is added sorry uh, sorry guys and uh, because that page is not uh, attaching with the c sharp file and this page is attached with the c sharp file you can check it yeah there is okay but the main page uh, is not taking c sharp file that is there so copy this code and paste in the newly created file main page one okay and now copy and paste it and you can check the whole code that is working properly because uh, i'm taking the tag name in the code file and uh, sender is is uh, is related to the uh, radio button and also taking the switch uh, case uh, for this uh, code in the switch uh, statements we can check one by one um, the tag names so thank you very much for watching this video and please keep watching my all other videos which is related to uwp i'm sure i will provide you a better video tutorial of uwp and uh, i'm uh, also provide the compiled data binding of uh, uwp and uh, wpf because the wpf concept is over in uh, microsoft uh, documentations it's less because in uwp is a cross platform you know very well so uh, i'm sure i will provide you a better video tutorial of uwp and make sure you design a better application in uwp thank you very much for watching this